it was identified basically in 1983 in the United States, about two years after AIDS was first noticed there. Um, but it soon became apparent that actually it was much more common in Africa and it looked as if the virus must have come from there. Uh, but I think it was a shock to everybody to discover just how widespread it was in Africa by that time. And so it became pretty obvious that um, it, it must have evolved there, you know, many years before and, and in fact um, scientists have now worked out that it was actually about a hundred years before so it had been around for a long time sort of slowly creeping around and increasing in the population uh, without ever being noticed. Um, and so uh, scientists obviously focusing on sort of West Central Africa um, were looking at where the virus could have jumped from. I mean, the most likely thing is that it would have jumped from an animal source. Um, and it soon became apparent that uh, primates carried viruses that were actually quite similar to HIV. And so they started looking in um, animals, uh, primates from zoos and from uh, wildlife centers and things, and eventually found a virus that was pretty similar in chimpanzees. But the problem was that they, they looked at about a thousand chimpanzees and only found the virus in four of them, three of which had a, a virus that was very similar to HIV and one of which had a virus that was not so similar. So it, it was all very difficult and it really took years to work out. Um, first of all, a different group of scientists discovered that or published that there were um, several different subspecies of chimpanzees and that sorted out uh, three of the ones that had a similar virus were of one subspecies and the one that had a separate a different one was another subspecies so um, but even so you know three out of a thousand really is not good enough to say that's where it came from and so the scientists decided that they would have to look at chimpanzees in the wild and so began a really detailed and long study of uh, wild chimpanzees and as you can imagine I mean these animals are uh, well they're rare uh, they're reclusive they don't like humans they're aggressive they're large uh, and what's more they're an endangered species so you can't just march up to one and take a blood sample so scientists actually spent two years working out uh, how to uh, get the virus from these animals and in the end they uh, worked out methods of not only finding uh, the virus from chimpanzee feces scraped off the forest floor um, but they could also actually tell which individual chimpanzee it came from, what its subspecies was and isolate the virus from those feces. So this study uh, looked at 600 samples of, of feces which were um, collected in the Cameroon where uh, these animals live. They were flown to the United States where the virus was extracted or the virus genome was extracted from them and then those sequences were flown to the United Kingdom, Edinburgh in fact where I come from, uh, where a colleague of mine, um, Paul Sharp, actually uh, devised um, evolutionary trees looking at the evolutionary relationship between these uh, primate viruses and HIV. And so, they, amazingly, they've actually managed to identify virtually the, the one troop of chimpanzees uh, which carry the virus which is most similar to HIV, and therefore that's probably where the virus came from. And those chimpanzees live in south, the very southeast corner of the Cameroon.